In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can count the number of entries in a cell when they're divided by a comma, or this would work for any type of a symbol that you may have inside of your cell. This is particularly helpful if you watch the video that I'd had where I was talking about how you're able to take multiple rows and combine them into one row. So let's get started. We're going to go to cell I1 and we're going to just put in there count. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a formula so we can count these entries inside of each cell. So we start with our equal, then we enter count A, left parenthesis, text, split, another left parenthesis, then we put in which cell we're going to be counting, and this happens to be H2, then we do comma, quotation mark, space, comma, space, quotation mark, then double right parentheses. Then when we hit the enter key, you'll see that it counted the number of entries in the cell. And then being able to do the smart fill going down the intuitive feature inside of Excel, it just automatically knew I was going to be doing that all the way down. So if you do look at those, you'll see there were two entries here divided by the comma, three entries there, we had three entries there, and it did just what it's supposed to do. Now the problem is, is if you want to be able to take these entries that we had and be able to move this around in your document, you're going to want to turn off this formula feature. So if we click on it now, you'll see the formula still there. It's easy to do. We just click on the cell, we, or the column, we copy it, we come over to the next column, we right click, and we're only going to paste the values. Now we don't have the formula inside of those any longer, and we can get rid of this formula if we would like. And we also have, just a real quick tutorial on this, we also have where our table is still here. If we click on the table, we can go to table design, convert to range, and now this is a range in here. We don't have to worry about this anymore being in its own table. And that's how you're able to count the number of entries inside of a cell. 